Part three, phonics. In this section, we're gonna do a whole bunch of different scenarios involving letter sound correspondence. And this is one of the big sections in the class because this is one of the sections that's not only gonna be on the multiple choice, it's also gonna be for your essays. You're gonna have essay questions where a lot of times in the first essay, you're gonna evaluate the student and phonics and strengths and weaknesses in phonics could fall into your essay. So this is a very, very important section for both the multiple choice and open response section for that first essay on oral oral fluency. So, so let's just think about uh, phonics here for a moment. We think about letter sound correspondence. There's two major parts to this that we need to, we need to understand. First, when we go from letters to sounds, when a student is reading a text and they're, they come across a word like spoon and they start to take those letters and match them up with those, their sounds, when they do letter sound correspondence, that part of phonics is called decoding. It's used in the reading process and it's used to help a student take a word and decode the letters to help pronounce it correctly. When we talk about uh, spelling or, or when a student takes sounds in oral language, they take the sounds in oral language or the phonemes in oral language and they, they take those sounds in oral language and the sounds in the word spoon and they match up those sounds or those phonemes with spelling patterns, so they take sounds like s, p, u, n, and they match them up with graphemes or spelling patterns, so the s goes with the s, the p goes with the p, the u goes with double o for, for, the, for the u in spoon, the n goes with the n. When they do sound letter correspondence or phoneme grapheme correspondence, we call that spelling or encoding or orthographic mapping. So, so these are the two major things we're gonna look at, scenarios involving decoding and scenarios involving encoding.